afternoon, Thursday, I believe it's, uh, I don't know, close to like 4 o'clock, I say. We had a good hunt today. We uh, went to state property in the morning. Uh, we didn't see many birds there, but we, we jumped two rabbits, shot one. Then we went uh, to um, <coughs> Gary Malzone's uh, Pheasant Preserve. And I stocked some birds for the guys. One of the um, one of the guys that was hunting with me today that I took out on the guide is an NFL player. He used to play for the Miami Dolphins and then the Jets. See if anybody recognizes who he is. Overall, great day. Lots of birds. Um, as you can see with the videos that I post today. Guiding is not an easy thing. It's very dangerous. Um, a lot of people, you know, take hunting as a joke. It's not a joke. You know, you got a you got a live weapon in your hands, and you're dealing with kids, and you're dealing with people that don't know how to hunt, don't know how to shoot, or haven't shot in a while. You know, there was a couple guys that were experienced. Um, Davin being one of them, Mark being another, Tosh being one, and my two members, which did not come to uh, to the um, the farm. They left early this morning. They had to go take care of some stuff. But uh, <clears throat> the kids were did what they were expected to do: be kids, you know. So you had to watch and make sure that they didn't make any mistakes, but there was adults there. And you can see from my videos with me screaming, don't shoot the, the bird on the ground, and I think you're dangerous. I didn't want to step in front of your gun because I'm afraid you're gonna shoot me. Yeah, it's serious. So, you know, a lot of you guys that do go hunting in a, um, a partner type, um, relationship let's say like you know it's never good to hunt alone that's for sure because god forbid you get hurt but you need to pick and choose who you hunt with very very uh carefully i got shot already once this year um literally got shot i was bleeding and uh i got peppered a few times this year but when you get hired to guide it's not the same. It's not the same. You have to take a lot different precautions because you got a group of guys that never really hunted with each other. They just decided that they want to all go out and hunt and don't have the first clue. I'm not saying everybody, but some don't have the first clue on which end of the gun really fires. <laughs> To be honest with you, I, I, I was afraid somebody was going to get shot today, but thank God nobody did. Um, the guy that uh, George, a friend of mine who brought his English setter out today, as you could tell, it was not my dog. It, uh, I kept calling her, him and her, but he was nice enough to let me guide out the dog today, and uh, he was there on the hunt. And his dog almost got shot today, and he was upset over it, and so was I. But, uh, like I said, this is this is something that you can't control when you say that you're going to take somebody hunting. You better know who you're taking hunting, or you better know how to take the precautions to keep yourself safe. Because it could have turned out a whole lot different today than what it did. Thank God everybody was safe and went home and had a good time. There was a lot of mistakes made today that could have went south. You know, we could have been pushing up daisies, a few of us today. Anyway, the sun's going down. There's a beautiful view of it right there. Coming through the woods. Hunt the front. Don't front the hunt. 